Picture this. You're driving along, minding your own business, when suddenly that little orange light on your dashboard, the dreaded check engine light, starts flashing at you. Not just glowing steadily like it sometimes does, but actually blinking. That's your car's way of screaming, hey, this is serious. Let's walk through what it means, why it's happening, and exactly what you should do in the moment so you don't end up stranded or staring at a hefty repair bill. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. What does a blinking engine light mean? A solid check engine light is like a polite tap on the shoulder. It means something isn't right, but you usually have some time to figure it out. A blinking light, on the other hand, is more like a fire alarm. It signals a serious misfire happening in one or more of your engine's cylinders. When a cylinder misfires, fuel that should have been burned properly ends up going straight into the exhaust system. That unburned fuel can overheat and destroy expensive parts like your catalytic converter in no time. That's why the light doesn't just glow, it blinks, demanding your attention immediately. Common Causes Behind the Blinking the blinking light almost always comes down to one of a handful of issues. Spark plugs that are worn out or fouled can't ignite the fuel properly. Ignition coils or wires that deliver the spark might have failed. Sometimes it's a clogged or faulty fuel injector not feeding enough fuel to the cylinder. And in some cases, a vacuum leak or bad sensor can throw the whole system off balance. The key thing to understand is that while these problems range in cost and complexity, they all lead to the same result misfires that put your catalytic converter and even your engine at risk if you keep driving. How it feels behind the wheel. When your check engine light is blinking, you'll usually feel it. The car may run rough, shake at idle, hesitate when you try to accelerate, or feel like it's lost a chunk of power. Sometimes there's a strong smell of unburned fuel from the tailpipe. These aren't just annoying quirks, they're warning signs that driving further could do expensive damage what to do right away. If that light starts blinking while you're on the road, the best thing you can do is ease off the gas and find a safe place to pull over. The less strain you put on the engine, the better. Don't ignore it and keep hammering down the highway. That's how you end up melting a catalytic converter that costs thousands to replace. Once you're safely stopped, turn off the engine. If you have a basic OBD2 scanner handy, plug it in and see what codes pop up. You might see something like PO301, which tells you cylinder 1 is misfiring, or PO300, which means random misfires. These codes give you a starting point. But unless you're comfortable with tools, this is usually the point to call a tow truck or get to a repair shop. If you're not far from home or a mechanic, you can try to restart the car and drive slowly and gently, but only if absolutely necessary. Remember. Every minute of driving with a blinking light risks more damage. Don't keep flooring the gas to push through it. Don't think pouring in a fuel additive at the gas station will magically fix it. And definitely don't just put tape over the light and pretend it's not there. Those are quick ways to turn a small ignition or fuel issue into a multi-thousand dollar repair job. How mechanics usually fix it. At the shop, the first step is always reading the codes. From there, the mechanic will test the spark plugs, coils, and fuel injectors. Many times, simply replacing a worn-out spark plug or coil pack gets you back on the road. If it's a fuel injector or sensor issue, the repair may take longer, but it's still better than needing a new catalytic converter or engine rebuild. How to avoid it in the future? The best defense is regular maintenance. Replacing spark plugs at the right intervals, using good quality fuel, and keeping your ignition system healthy go a long way. Don't ignore small issues either. If your car has been idling rough, stalling, or already set a steady check engine light, those are early warnings. Deal with them before they snowball into a blinking emergency. A blinking check engine light isn't something to shrug off. It's your car begging you to stop before you do real damage.